Mara National Park. Ali Manzu is back from the wild with the following report. According to the report published in May by the Wildlife Research and Training Institute WRTI, the Kenya Wildlife Service, KWS, WWF Kenya, together with other research organizations in the Maasai Mara ecosystem, there is an 83.7% population growth of wildlife in the community conservancies. The remaining 16.3% being residents of the national park. We are finding more wildlife within the conservancies more than the protected area itself so the best we can do is to sit down with the communities with the conserv conservancy uh, owners and uh, look for way forwards really talk really talk conservation the wildebeest population is the highest at over 37,000, followed by the common zebras at 32,358 and buffaloes at 11,604 the impala gazelles are the highest in number at 10,610 as the Thompson's gazelles numbers stand at 8,278. The topi at 6,923 and the grand gazelles at 3,892. There are 2,595 elephants in the ecosystem, 2,109 giraffes and 1,280 elands. With increase of wildlife and shrinking land, it also becomes already immediately a, a problem. But the more reason why we are forming conservancies, so that those lands that are yet not under conservation, we will encourage through the conservancy model, we will encourage those landowners to put their land together and bring it back to conservation so that we can be able to increase that. A total of 17 species of different large animals in the Mara ecosystem were recorded in this census which took place across 12,500 square kilometers. The National Elephant Program Coordinator at the WWF Kenya, Samson Lenjir, said the results would help design effective policies for the management of community conservancies around the Mara ecosystem. If we can strengthen research in terms of uh, domiciling uh, research into the landscapes. I, I think that's our project WWF want to take to ensure that uh, the endangered species are taken care of and again the abundance of uh, the herbivores are also taken care of. The report has also shown an increase in human activities within the reserve, including the development of infrastructure, housing units and farming. These activities continue to expand into the wildlife corridors, reducing the once vast wild ecosystem. The migratory uh, corridors that are well documented by Kenya Wildlife Service and the Wildlife Research Institute is also taken into consideration to ensure that uh, there is a concerted effort between stakeholders, including the county government, because if the spatial plan can link to the conservancy's management plans and the overall uh, national plans, I think we, we can conserve wildlife. One of the reasons that uh, wildlife, uh, we are losing wildlife in some of our system in our country is because of uh, fencing and, and, and reduction in spaces, open spaces that wildlife are able to use. The whole idea of a conservancy is to create an open fence free area. The expansion of human activities has consequently see an increase in human wildlife conflict. Conservationists hope that the eagerly awaited guidelines from the Ministry of Wildlife, Tourism and Heritage will be launched sooner than rather later. Stakeholders have